Russian invaders base military helicopters near residential buildings in occupied Crimea. This was reported on the page of the representative office of the President of Ukraine in the Autonomous Republic of Crimea on the social network Facebook. They accuse Russia of using the civilian population of the peninsula as a human shield. The occupiers are basing military helicopters on sites in the place of vacant lots near residential buildings. Also in the villages of Zankoy district, various enemy anti-aircraft missile systems are located on the outskirts of populated areas. The report says activists of the Atesh resistance movement have tracked a missile complex, radar systems and several S-300 systems in one of the districts of Sevastopol. They have already transmitted the coordinates to the relevant services. In addition, according to activists, Russian security forces have set up a federal security service station in one of the Yalta sanatoriums. It was recently visited by a commission from Moscow to monitor partisan movements. As is known, Ukrainian forces are systematically attacking the positions of the occupiers on the occupied peninsula and are also displacing the Black Sea Fleet. The Navy recently reported that there are a total of five Russian military airfields in Crimea, two of which no longer have any aircraft. As Russia's war of aggression against Ukraine heads into its third year, shortcomings within the country's aerospace forces are becoming even more apparent. The Aerospace Forces has failed to gain air superiority against a numerically inferior opponent, has insufficient intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance aircraft, lacks adequate numbers of precision guided weapons and has suffered meaningful losses of aircraft and attack helicopters. The bottom line is that the Aerospace Forces has often been ineffective, not inactive. Russia also is facing pressure on its weapons stocks, having, for instance, run down its pre-war stock of Raduga KH-101 conventionally armed long-range land attack missiles, a serial number, if genuine, stenciled on the side of a recently used KH-101 suggests it was manufactured only in the fourth quarter of 2023. If correct, then the missile went straight from the Raduga production site to the front line. The pressure on industry appears acute. Senior Russian military officials recently visited guided weapons manufacturer Tactical Missiles Corporation to discuss production rates and to stress the importance of both sustaining and increasing deliveries to the Air Force. Drone operators of the Ukrainian Armed Forces 14th Separate Regiment have destroyed Russia's Zupark, one counterbattery radar system worth 25 million US dollars. The crew members of the radar system were also killed during the attack. The video showing the destruction of Zupark, one has been published by Ukrainian Telegram channels. The destruction of this complex significantly weakens Russia's ability to conduct counterbattery warfare and protects our units from artillery shelling. The forces of unmanned systems show their prowess and technological advantage, one of Telegram channels wrote. Developed by the Soviet Armed Forces, Zupark-1 is a mobile active electronically scanned array radar. It's designed for reconnaissance and fire detection of ground artillery systems. It's unknown where Zupark-1 was struck. It should be recalled that Ukraine on Saturday struck Russian Black Sea Fleet submarine worth $300 million in Crimea's Sevastopol port city. On the same day, Ukraine damaged Russia's S-400 air defense system.